Welcome back to the Civic Center. Are we, as we're about to get the second quarter underway, Huguenots 10, Bishop Kearney Kings 14. As that first quarter was a slow one for the Huguenots offensively as they couldn't seem to have an answer for the size inside that Bishop Kearney possesses. So we may see a bit more perimeter game from the Huguenots as a jump shot is good by Bryant. Fender has it along the wing. Works around the Clark screen, now feeds it to Joe in the post. Pull up jumper is no good by Clark. And Brian gets it out to Rose. Rose, bounce pass up ahead. Is bobbled, but is eventually regained and put in by number 55, God's Power O DJ. Huguenots down eight. As Powell is trapped, looks for help, gets it to Holden as he drives. Shot is no good, may have been blocked. Edney's put back, no good. Rebound collected by Bryant. Gets out to Rose. Rose, bounce pass up ahead to Anderson and he lays it in. And the Kings have their largest lead of the afternoon here. It's 10, 20 to 10. And a push off call against number one, Donovan Powell. That'll be his second foul of the game. to be subbed out by number 22, Derek Dorn. Bishop Kearney doing a good job of moving the ball here, and that's what's getting in their, their easy looks. The ball is deflected and it's a kick ball against the Huguenots left on the shot clock. And a drive baseline and an offensive foul call against number 32, Alvin English. So Clark has it inside. Shot is no good. Put back by any no good. So Clark's put back is no good, but a foul is called. Clark at the line for two. He's been perfect from the line. Up here in Glen Falls, as he makes the first one. And he's two for two. So the lead now eight for Bishop Kearney. As they lead 20 to 12. You're gonna have to come with a press, holding gambles. As Smith drives baseline. Anderson, a long three-pointer is no good. Ball knocked out of bounds, and it'll be Nero Show Ball.
Substitution here for Bishop Kearney is number 35. Chinoso Aboko back in the game. Holden has it inside to Edney and the ball is slapped away. And stolen by Anderson. Anderson drives and the ball is knocked away. And taken by Smith and he lays it in. Now it looks like an inbound violation against the Huguenots here. Unforced turnover will give the ball back to Bishop Kearney. And the ball is tipped and stolen by the Huguenots. As Fender has it going towards the basket. Layup no good, but a foul is called. As Fender may have learned better than the previous time he drove in, he just went straight up with it instead of taking the pump fake. And he'll get a chance for two at the line. First free throw rims out. And he misses from the line. It's the first Huguenot to go 0 for 2 from the line here in this quarter, in these quarters. And this ball is stolen by Holden. And Dolan will walk it across half court. Holden get, excuse me, Doran gets it into Clark, goes baseline. Layup is no good, but a foul is called. So you're actually doing a good job of getting the ball into the paint and drawing fouls against these big men. Now a timeout will be called here with 4.07 left to go in the first half. Bishop Kearney, 22, and Huguenots, 12. First free throw by Clark is good. And Clark remains perfect from the line here in these championship round as the ball is stolen by Edney. Pass the fender and the layup is good. The Huguenots defense causing turnovers here and helping them out on offense. These Huguenots have great success in the transition game. As Foster drives, kicks out. Pass inside to Bryant. Finds a Boko, shot is no good. Rebound saved, oh no, not saved by Dorn. It looked like he was in the air when he threw it back to Fenner. Hope the ref thought otherwise. And the ball will stay with Bishop Kearney. Foster has it working around the screen. Pass 
deflected. Aboko has it in the corner. Good defense here by the Huguenots here. As Foster has to force up a prayer and he makes it. Great defense by Sean Fenner and the Huguenots, but a better shot. And the Bishop Kearney lead back up to nine as Clark drives baseline. Shot is blocked by Aboko and a foul is called. He knows come with the press, but Bishop Kearney breaks it. It's a pass inside to Aboko, and the shot is good. May have gotten away with the travel there. Holden looking for a teammate, finds Fender at the top of the key. Clark has it, goes in the post, and he puts it in. You're not still down by nine with two minutes left to go in the first half. Rose drives and loses the ball, stolen by Holden. Gets it up to Dorn as he works towards the middle of the court. And they'll slow it up here as he might want to look for Clark in the post again. And they do just that as Clark has it. Turnaround jumper off glass is no good. Jump down inside to Aboko, and the shot is good. Now one minute to go here in this first half. Huguenots down by 11. Fenner, corner three, no good. Foster may have gotten away with the travel there as he gets it back. And he'll be guarded here by Fenner. Brian comes with the screen. Pull up three by Foster. No good, too strong rebound by Edney. A basket to go into the half would be huge for the Huguenots as it would cut the lead to single digits. Dorn gets it over with about 12 seconds to go on the clock. Now under 10. And Dorn loses the ball. Shot at the horn by Smith is no good. And that'll bring this half to an end. Bad half for the Huguenots here as they haven't had many of those on their Cinderella run. However, the score at halftime, Bishop Kearney Kings 29. New Rochelle Huguenots, 18. You are watching NRED TV, home of New Rochelle High School Sports.